Hey Math 85, this is Dr. McGathy and we are still working on section 8.2. Um, what we have here is uh, equations that we are going to solve that first need to be simplified and then we'll apply the um, multiplication division properties of equality. So again, I really like to imagine that this equal sign chops my workspace into two separate sides. And what I'll do is first simplify the left hand side. 8x plus 9x minus 5x. Notice these are all like terms. They all um, have coefficient and a factor of x. So I can go ahead and add together the coefficients. 8 plus 9 minus 5, which is 7, uh, 12. 12x. So 12x on the left. And over here on the right, negative 3 plus 15. Remember, uh, I've got like three negatives and 15 positives. So together, some of those three negatives cancel out some of the um, positives in the 15. So I'm left with 12 positives. So now 12x equals 12. I can um, undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by 12. And I've got x equals 1. Let's do another one. 11 minus 20 equals 17y minus 8y minus 6y. Again, I'll just imagine, you don't have to draw on the line, just imagine that you have two sides in your workspace here. 11 minus 20, so that's a positive 11, and plus a negative 20, which leaves me with negative 9 on the left. And 17y minus 8y minus 6y, these are all like terms, so I can go ahead and combine those coefficients. 17 minus 8 is 9. Minus 6 is 3. So I get 3y left. And now again, um, I've got my variable y on the right side here. And this is 3 times y, so I'm going to undo that multiplication by dividing both sides by 3. Negative 9 divided by 3 gives me a negative 3 equals y. And um, this is something silly, but a lot of people don't like their, their variable on the right-hand side. If that ever is a problem for you, Go ahead and just switch the two sides of the equation. Like negative 9 equals 3y, that's the same thing as saying 3y equals negative 9, right? And then you could solve the equation that way. All right, so y equals negative 3 or negative 3 equals y. One last problem. Negative 3 times n minus 2 minus 6 equals 21. So we're going to want to simplify this side first. Notice I am multiplying against a binomial here, set of parentheses with uh, subtraction happening inside. So I'll want to multiply each term inside the parentheses times this negative 3. Okay, so negative 3 times n gives me negative 3n. And then negative 3 times this, it's really like a negative 2. I want to think of this as like plus a negative here. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. So negative 3m plus 6 minus 6 equals 21. Let's go ahead and simplify further. I've got plus 6 minus 6, which that uh, evaluates to 0. So negative 3n equals 21. I'll undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by a negative 3, which leaves the n here on the left-hand side all by itself. n equals 21 divided by negative 3, which is negative Seven. All right, so uh, you're equipped to handle all the problems in this section of homework. So um, you know, make sure that you are lining things up, being neat with your work, and check your answer at the end.